It was just 10 years ago when the Schaefer Pen Company plant closed its doors. The property is now used by another business. I worked there between my high school graduation and college entrance and worked there for three years. Judy Bergen has lived in this corner of Iowa for years. Now she's working to keep the memory of the Schaefer Pen Company alive at this museum, which opened in 2011. Inaugurated in, on May the 16th of 1913, but prior to that, W.A. Schaefer was a jeweler. He bought a jewelry store here in town, and in his back room, he thought there had to be a better way to produce a pen. The museum recently received a donation from a Washington state man of Targa pens from a special line made here in Fort Madison. Flew to Kansas City and then drove to Fort Madison for the uh, express purpose of donating this collection. Bernie McCauley was an engineer with Schaefer Pen for 40 years. Or most of the parts that are in a fountain pen, ballpoint, pencil, are very small. And in order to be able to accurately measure those, um, we use a machine called a comparator. The Schaefer Pen Museum has displays of lots of pens made there and some of the machines which were used in the process. Schaefer was like working for your family. It was a wonderful place to work. The pen plant closed for one main reason, declining demand. The fact that people are not writing like they used to write. You know, they're using their uh, iPad, iPods, their computers, their phones, even those of us who are older are doing that now. In Fort Madison, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.